Ruth here, and this is the November box, which is Yule Ball themed, as indicated by the sticker. The sticker says, <coughs> I just knew the box was uh, Hogwarts requests the pleasure of your company at the Yule Ball. So, let's see. Pretty neat. It's like um, dance, like the waltz or whatever dance, basic foot footwork steps. See, right, right, together, left, left, right, together. Yeah. So it goes through there, all over there. Yeah, and repeats. What does it say? Witches and wizards. It just says that, actually. Witches and wizards. Witches and wizards. That's what it says. And obviously, yeah. Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. That is the inside. It's pretty, pretty neat. They actually incorporated the uh, dance steps. Alright, so. Let's see what else Knock anything over. But, okay, so, first up we have a southern colored shirt. And it is the steps, like on the box. It's in green and white. Or it's technically green. Grayish white. It's got the steps. Obviously, the feet all have L and R for like the left, right. It's kind of it also has the uh, numerical order here. So like, yacht one, two. Here it is, you can see it better on this, this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, yeah. I randomly know that because I think I watched uh, Princess Diaries <laughs> ages ago. Okay, so that, that, that's the shirt. And since you can already see, or saw, what um, this is, so, um, it's Hermione Ink from Yule Ball Magnet Set, no, that's, that's the title on the back, so I would never have guessed it was a magnet. Well, what you know, that's pretty cool. So those are like Hermione's earrings, and that's that a Durmstrang logo in there? That's pretty nifty there. Pretty cool. I'll just stick it on my uh, filing cabinet. That's magnetic. So, um... There's only... One, two, three, four things in here? Yeah. Or five. Um, it's got a... The gift 
to the cake from Loot Crate. And that's just a to and fro little name cards you can cut out. Which is a bit redundant right now since it's January. But there we have it. Okay, it says Yule Ball, put your finest robes. Put on your finest robes and get ready to have a magical evening at the Yule Ball. Well, I can't read. We need evening at the biggest Christmas in the Wizarding World event. The Yule Ball. Man, I can't read here. Yeah. Okay, so there's by the number five items. Not one, two, three, four. Must be because it's at the very bottom and I can't see it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so the first thing that we already, I already showed you is the Yumbo Hogwarts House t-shirt. Dance the night away in this enchanted apparel featuring your Hogwarts house colors. Um, then there's a Hermione and Crown Yumbo magnet set. Dress up your home for the holidays with this magnet set based on Hermione and Crown's your ball attire. And by the way, all the items are exclusively made for this crate. So next up we have is this thing, which I believe you kind of saw already. So I'll just show it to you. It is a your ball etched commemorative plate. Have a look, see, shall we? If I can open this. Ah, oh, and it is like, I can see. It's glass. Because it's got so many styrofoam bits on it. And I want to pick it out. Hopefully, we'll get styrofoam out of it. That looks pretty cool. Of course, it will look a bit better without the tag on the back, but though it's very much more it's more much more bold on the back than on the front. You know what I mean? It's more like a frosted kind of feeling to it. I'm getting started from all myself. Um, yeah, but it is pretty snazzy. So I just put this back. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally break it or anything. So back in the starter form it goes. Oh, I'm showing myself with styrofoam. I'm too sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna put it away so I don't get any more styrofoam on myself. That is totally possible. I'm gonna throw it down the bottom. So I don't want to. And because of the type of shirt I'm wearing, it's stuck. Anyway, enough complaining. I just place that right there. Place that there. I'm sliding off my chair. <laughs> okay, so styrofoam everywhere. Okay, this box. Okay, so um, I didn't read it out today. 
Yobo etched commemorative plate. Serve up delicious holiday treats on this special Yobo plate, which I'm not going to use like that. <laughs> okay, now this one is cool. And it'll go so well with the thing I already have on my desk. Wow, it smells new. <laughs> That's totally right. Okay. And it's USB. It is, if you can see, Hogwarts Castle. So this just gets, gets, gets plugged in. It's got a US, this USB cable, and that just gets plugged in on the back here, where the cable is. So you would get lit up. This is a Hogwarts Ice Sculpture USB light. Inspired by the Yule Ball centerpieces, this light will shine bright no matter what time of the year. What time of year? I don't know where the came in. I can't read. Is wow, that is sharp. These pointy spire parts. Well, that's pretty blunt. Well, no, that's still sharp. Anyway, these ones here are sharper. Oh, this one's pretty sharp too. Well, they're all sharp. I'm poking myself. Um, yeah. All the spires, as you see, all the towering pointy bits are sharp and pointy. So, best not to po 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 um, poke yourself very hard because it is super pokey. Um, blah, 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 blah. 2020. Made in China. Loot company. Losing Ronald. Copyright trademark for Ronald Burns Entertainment. Pension rights. JKR. That's, you know, the basic info on the bottom there. But anyway, that is pretty snazzy. The reason why I say it would go well on my desk, because at the very back of my desk, Oops. I've got this beauty here. This one, obviously, lights up. Well, it did. I guess the batteries don't work. It kind of works. Had a bit of trouble there, but it does work. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back before I do it. Like, well, I probably won't keep it on my desk though because I need a USB port thing to put it, and I don't have one around my desk. That's like be totally. Not the top then. But anyway, it is pretty cool. I'll, I'll test it out some other time. Ooh, and it's, it's for 15 plus. I actually looked at the uh, packaging again for the uh, ice sculpture uh, figure thing. And yeah, it actually says this. Of course, I should probably read all the cautions before looking at things. Or taking things out. Hello. Oh 
a lot of sharp points. It does look like an ice sculpture like this when it's glowing, doesn't it? Very cool. Does bad pun <laughs> So just ten left. This is part of the Magical Places series, and this is Madame Malkin's shop. Now what it says, Madame Malkin's pay, pay a visit to Madame Malkin's rooms for all occasions with that's been in the in our Magical Places continuity, continuity series. Really? You need the continuity part? Anyway, that's, that's it. And I believe, well, I won't be selling anything of this one. So which one is your favorite? I mean, I quite like the light up ice sculpture castle, um, and the magnets are cool. Probably plate's pretty good for like, you know, photo stuff, I guess. <laughs> um, there's no okay bars. Well, I'm not going to sell anything, so that proves it's okay and I like, I like the stuff. A lot of stuff. They really pop out for everything, and the pen is more of a plain, generic type of thing. Not very, I mean, it's got, you know, detail as like a lot of lines and stuff, but it's only basically maybe three colors. So it's not as details of some previous pins. I mean, I think even I could set with a tiny bit more detail than that. But anyway. Oh, um, it was a good box. Nothing to completely write home about, but uh, it was still a good box. So... I can't think of anything else. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Share it over for notifications. Uh, right now.